Yeah, just their guard play and uh, how good they are. I think they have three good guards that are all pretty good. Uh, one of them we've played against at Maryland, and uh, two bigs that are really good too. One that can stretch the floor more, and one that posts up more. You guys are both going to game. You know, what's what's that like when, when two teams come up and then uh, meet each other? Yeah, uh, it's March. Uh, everyone's got some momentum. Everyone's winning, and uh, every, someone's going to go home tomorrow. And you know that the work you put in, you know the time you put in. And, the relationship and memories you've grown with these guys, and you just don't want that to be you. So you can do whatever you can to get yourself ready to play. Josh, is this kind of like um, bringing it back to AAU almost, where you're in the same city for, for a whole weekend, playing multiple games, and just kind of you, you know with your team the whole time? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's, Josh, it's a fun time. You're away from school a little bit. And it's basketball. Uh, you're here to play a game. There's a lot of a lot of antics, a lot of media around, and uh, ultimately you got to focus and go in a game Sunday. Josh, how is Mason and Trey kind of complement each other? That's each tough. other at the four. Yeah, um, they both complement each other very well because one of them posts up so well, one of them shoots it so well, and they both play hard. And I think when you get two four man, especially in college basketball, that aren't afraid to go hit somebody and go get a rebound, they're going to help your team win. So when you got one that can score on anybody down low and one that can knock down the threes at a very high clip, it's, it's great to have. Your brother was the one about the crap. Matt is famous for saying, "Don't look at individual produ production per se, but look what you get out of the position." Yeah. Similar to when Trevion and Zach, Zach were here. I mean, is that? Is that something that you notice? This is the production from that yeah, for position sure. based on a nightly on, basis. Based on how people guard us, it's going to be someone's night uh, differently. Uh, offensively, defensively, rebounding, whatever it is. So when those two guys are ready to play and they're locked in with them, it, it helps our team click tremendously. Are you back in the groove that you thought that you were you would get back in it eventually? Yeah, for sure. Uh, do you? You can't see your face, but when you have that look on your face when you're shooting, and is that something that you can you can sense in yourself that you have you have that back? Yeah, I'd say so, but I also know it's it's March. Uh, it's winter go home now, so do whatever I can to get myself ready to go home and see one. How do you get yourself ready for something like that? Yeah, now it's just getting my legs and mind ready, uh, getting some rest, um, making sure I'm not sore or anything the day of the game, and just being ready to go. When you have the physical game that you had last night, Maybe not as much as Zach got pounded on, but what's the process of getting your body back to ready to play in, in 24 or 48 hours? Yeah, a lot of stretching, uh, a lot of band work, and just doing what I can to get loose and get ready to go and get ready for shoot around today and then feel better tomorrow. Maybe get nice stuff. Thank you. You talked about their guards. They're obviously.